In this video, I am going to share amazing information about Jodhabai. Jodhabai, also known as Mariam Uzamani, was born on October 1st, 1542. Jodhabai was a daughter of Raja Barmal of Amir. She was a Hindu princess but married to a Muslim king, Akbar. Their marriage was considered to be an example of religious tolerance. However, the marriage between the two of them was a political alliance. She was also known as the last first love of Mughal Emperor Akbar. Her name in Mughal chronicle was Maryam Uzzamani. This title was given to her by her husband after she gave birth to her son Jahangir. She married Akbar in 1564 at the age of 20. Maryam Uzzamani was referred to as the Queen Mother of Hindustan during the reign of Mughal Emperor Akbar and also during her son Emperor Jahangir's reign. Akbar's marriage with her was more of political alliance between the father of Jodhabai and Akbar. The marriage led to a much more favorable view of Hinduism by the emperor. After marriage to Akbar, she remained a Hindu. She was one of the chief wives of Akbar. Though she remained a Hindu, she was honored with the title of Maryam Uzzamani, which means Mary of the Age. Despite her being a Hindu, she held great honors in the Mughal household. Apart from the title of Maryam Uzzamani, Jodha Bai also held the titles of Malikai Hind and Wali Nimad Begum, which means Gift of God. She used to issue official documents using the title of Wali Nimad Begum. Akbar allowed Jodha to perform customary Hindu rites in the royal palace. He also let her maintain a Hindu temple in the palace. In fact, Akbar too sometimes performs in the puja. Jodha Bai was reported to have been a very smart businesswoman who ran an active international trade in spices and silk. In 1575, the authorities in the port of Surat prevented a woman called Gulbuddin Begum from embarking on her pilgrimage to Mecca for an entire year. So this is about Jodhapai. If you like the video, please do subscribe to my channel for the further updates.